What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two stories for you and I think three or four questions. You had a lot of questions and I didn't want to carry, keep carrying questions over. Um, but the two stories that are absolutely massive, they are renders of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and an official render of the Pixel Fold. And I didn't, usually I start off with like the smaller stories and work my way up. But we're gonna start off with the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the newest renders of this phone, 360 look at this phone and everything else coming from the man on leaks who tends to do this stuff and he has an awesome look at everything to do with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And unfortunately, it's not very exciting because it looks really close to a Galaxy Z Fold 4 and a Galaxy Z Fold 3. And it's not exciting at all in that regard. Like you don't, you're not going to see really any changes on this phone in terms of the way it looks. Um, it, the, everything basically looks the same. The, the display on the front and the inside are exactly the same with the same dimensions. It will be lighter. It'll be a better phone overall. It'll be better with battery life and performance. But externally, it looks identical pretty much to every phone they've released that's a folding phone the last couple of years. And I don't see this, I see it being a big seller in terms of the internal stuff, you know, like some slightly enhanced cameras, which basically are the same camera sensors anyway, but better AI built into a better processor, which every, every tons of phones have this processor. It's like, there's not a lot of unique things going on with this versus any phone they've released previously. And it's not very exciting upgrade, but it will be a good upgrade overall. But you know, like I said, it's not anything really, 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 unfortunately to look forward to uh, for the Fold line this year um, from Samsung anyway. So you saw that you look at the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Let's get to the main event here. These are official renders from the Pixel Fold. EV leaks had leaked these out and other people started tweeting some extra additional photos of it. And it's finally, I think one of the biggest takeaways about the Pixel Fold is that you can finally use the inside display, outside, outside display, I should say. This is really not fun to use. You can see it's super skinny and kind of difficult to use. Typing on it used to be worse. It got a little better this year, but it's still not an exciting typing experience and using the outside display at all. For me, it's way too small. To go from something like the inside display, which is 7.6 inches and nice and wide and tall and everything, to just a tall and skinny display is drastic. It's a big contrast. And then you still hold it and it's still pretty thick. So it's not a great experience. And I love, I'm just so looking forward to <clears throat> having a daily phone that I can use that the Pixel Fold will be versus what this is like. Um, it's awesome. And I love the way the cameras look on the back there. Um, I would love to see a, a, an official render of the inside display, which we should probably get in the next couple days, I would assume, uh, so don't fret about that. But it's quite exciting seeing all of this stuff for the Pixel Fold come out. It's a phone that is going to be, you know, 1799 bucks and higher. It's gonna be a phone that has a really smooth, and great experience with the UI. It's gonna have things that we don't know about. Like I would assume there's gonna be UI things in there, um, features that they haven't been leaked out and told us to us about that are gonna really enhance the usage of that Pixel Fold line. Whew, I'm very, very excited. I hope my excitement still carries over when the phone is released because there's a lot to look forward to with the Pixel Fold physically and with the software as well. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you think about the Pixel Fold? Do you love the way it looks? Is it, fi for me again, I said it's like finally the outside display is a usable device. The uh, inside display is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to that as well. Definitely a great camera up there will be had. The whole camera system in general is gonna be great with the Pixel Fold because of the, the Pixel UI, uh, the AI software built into it. So let me know your thoughts. Without further ado, let's jump in our Q&A. Reactions has the first question says, what news on the under display camera? Not only is the quality bad, but you can still see that they need to either improve the picture quality or make it uh, it's so it's totally invisible. We haven't heard anything about it. I would assume it's gonna be quite similar, which is God awful, which is another pain point for the, the, the Galaxy Fold. This under display camera is absolutely horrendous to use. So I haven't heard anything, but I don't have any 
good thoughts about how they're gonna improve it. I don't think they will. Ask Tom, who is a longtime member, not anymore, former member of the squad uh, in terms of uh, donations and things like that. Awesome guy though, regardless. He's asking, how does the photo and video quality of the Flip 5 and Full 5 compare? I don't care uh, for 8K video, 4K is fine till the next one. Um, we don't, the cameras are the same on the Fold 5. Um, Fold, Flip 5 should have some updated cameras, but Fold 5 is basically the same camera setup, different, just a different enhanced AI built into it, so it'll probably be improved a little bit, but don't expect leaps and bounds. A monk is saying, should I buy the Fold 4 now, or should I wait for the Fold 5? as it is going to release after three months, considering there is nothing major upgrade coming to the Fold 5. Also, there is urgency for charging of my current phone. Ooh, that's a tough one. If you're having issues with charging, you might wanna upgrade, but I think the Fold 5 in terms of battery life and performance is gonna be much better. I would, if you can wait it out, I'd say just wait the struggle for the next two or three months, grab the Fold 5, because the battery life alone is gonna be a nice upgrade. And the last question from Craig Monroe, saying, aren't you worried about first Iteration blues specifically for people unlike yourself, people who have one phone, first product hardware issues. I know the Fold 4 has some issues. I have one, but buying the first iteration of a brand new product makes me concerned. So he's talking about the Pixel Fold. Am I worried about that? Yeah, there's something I, I, I think about. I don't think it's gonna be so bad where it's unusable. I wouldn't go that far. But I, I just like you know any device, especially first generation devices, there's gonna be bugs that have to be worked out. But Without a doubt, they'll have them fixed within a month or a few months. I, I don't have any doubt about that. So I, I, I personally wouldn't worry about it that much. Also, the processor and software they're using, um, it, they've been working on this stuff for years. So again, I, I would hope that it would only be a, a couple months before all the bugs, or at least the major bugs are worked out from the phone. If you have a question, guys, leave it in the comments down below, hashtag question. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.